You know, this is the race we were we were aiming for. You know, after I had to run her at Churchill, and then we run her at Ellis with this race in mind. And she put her best foot forward today, which is super. And you were talking before about she's from one of those great uh, Whitam family yeah. pedigrees, and you were naming some of the horses that are in her pedigree. Well, yeah, she goes back to um, if I get it right. Um, we've got, she's out, out of um, Walkabout, who's out of Arlucia, who makes her a half-sister to the Fort Larned. So it goes back to some really good family. Yeah, the, the good thing is the track firmed up. She loves to be on top of the ground. The firmer, the better. She loves it. That, did you just feel like she was, you were watching the winner all the way around there? She was, yeah, she was always traveling, you know, and, and, you know, she got into a good rhythm with Brian. And he didn't ask her too well into the straight, and I felt good because he hadn't asked her, and we were she was in a nice rhythm. You've always supported Kentucky Downs for many years. In fact, Fort Leonard won an allowance race here yeah, before was, he went on to win the Breeders' Cup Classic. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like to blow my tune. That that was a year I was a leading trainer here. I had two wins, <laughs> <laughs> very short. So, do you like Kentucky Downs even better now that these races are oh, no. one and a half million? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah.